Good morning. Welcome back to Eyeshadow October. It is the 11th today, Sunday, October 11th. And I thought, I was like, oh, you got to turn the camera on, girl. You're doing something different than normal. So I know I mentioned previous video, pre-COVID, I wore a full face of makeup, foundation, concealer, the whole nine. And then when I started having to wear a mask every day, I stopped doing that. So today I was like, oh, just use up this literal like centimeter left of foundation that you have. So I used a pump and I have some left of the Tarte Face Tape Foundation. Um, and let me tell you, this feels heavy on my skin, which is ironic because I used to wear like much more makeup than that. I didn't even use concealer. I just used more of the foundation and put it under my eyes and then I powdered. Um, my window's open. The birds are loud outside. Um, cool beans. So yesterday was my last day working full time at the cafe at my store because now I'm going to be um, at my work. Uh, now I'm going to be running both the grocery department and the cafe. So, good stuff. I'm going to a different store starting tomorrow to train. So, that's good. I'm nervous. So I messaged, messaged a child, brain, I messaged a childhood friend of mine, he's doing some like social media stuff now, and um, he's like does like computer stuff and like, I don't know if he does drawing on his channel, but he's an artist, so, and I was like, hey, like, any like, he's doing ink, ink, inktober, ink, inktober, inktober? And so I was like, hey, any like suggestions about like posting daily content because like I'm struggling <laughs> with the editing and everything. And he was like, well, editing's the hardest part. So if you're like deliberate with how you film, then that's better. But um, I was asking him what he uses for editing and he uses Adobe, the Adobe suite as well. And I was like, it's like me trying to drive or pilot a spaceship when all I know is how to drive a car and like that's totally how it feels to me it's so overwhelming um there's a hundred million things that I know I can do with it I just don't know how to do it so that's the frustrating part I think for me um uh, yeah The problem is, is when I was doing the makeup videos twice a week, I was using a different editing software. So I was just using like the software that comes on like the family home computer. Excuse me. I've got to grab a cotton round. I wiped some of this makeup off my lips. I didn't realize that I had like concealer lips going on. Um... And so that was very simple. It was like cut paint, like I was nothing to it. And then when I, um, I think, when did I started? I think I started using the Adobe Suite when my brother started letting me use his new Apple computer, if I remember correctly. And... then he was using it a lot so like I really couldn't use it like whenever I wanted and I'm wiping the um, the foundation off the back of my hand so I downloaded on to the home computer and it like just like it ran it but like that computer was so old that just mm, struggling struggles are real um, and I use the micellar water from Bioderma um, 
this one. And maybe I'll wear lipstick today because I can. This is exciting. What do we think? Am I shining? Am I shining enough? Um, yeah. So what ultimately would be awesome for me is like having an editor, but I'm small time. So like what editor? <laughs> I would have to try to like have help from like a family or friend and like pay them with lunch or something. I'm trying to think what I want to do today, whether I want to use this palette. I want to use something fun. Maybe this one. What's ironic is I love this silver color so much. Oh, excuse me, sir. It speaks to me on such a like level because I used to wear only silver eyeshadow, like silver toned eyeshadow for the longest time. This is before I really know much about makeup. And so that just is like yes but I feel like I have to be in a certain like mood to be doing silver eyeshadow I know that sounds weird but <sighs> should we do prism I think I'm gonna use this one so tale as old as time ah, I love Beauty and the Beast so much okay so this was a collab with Disney um, the company Laroque did this, um, there's no date on it, when that new movie came out, which, oh, I love it so much. It's like that and Frozen are like my favorite movies. I know that's kind of interesting. I think I am actually going to, so, let's start with this color because it's just kind of like my skin color that is called chip in just to kind of get a base and I'm gonna stop after this and do my eyebrows and then come back because eyebrows take a long time and you don't need to see that <laughs> more than once Okay, my brows are on, and I put lipstick on. So this is the Bite Beauty Matte Creme Lip Crayon in Glacé, G-L-A-C-E with an accent to the right on it, which means it's an A sound. I don't know if this is still around because the last time I went to buy something from Bite that I really liked that I had a trial size of, uh, they didn't sell it anymore. So hopefully that's around still. Um, I'm like real nervous to go right in. I think I want to do like these colors here, but I'm like really nervous to go in with these. Ooh. So let's go in with, um, this shade first. So TikTok. It's like a matte, it's a cool toned kind of similar to the color I'm wearing actually, but a little darker. I don't remember what these shadows are like, how they blend and stuff. It's not bad actually. Not that I remember it being bad, I just... I feel like my taste in eyeshadow has changed because I do a lot of like light Not that I was like into doing super heavy stuff on the day to day anyway, just because of time, but. Yeah. Oh, this is something I did forget about this foundation is that. It creases under the eye, like even if I powder it, maybe I didn't powder it enough. I wonder if I use the blue as like an eyeliner. 
Alright, I'm going to go in with this color here. Impress. Yeah, impress. So it's kind of like a purpley, cool toned shadow. So I'm just going to do that to kind of deepen things up a little. Oh, that packs a punch. I feel like I want a small brush. E45. It's like a tapered blending brush. I don't want it to look like I got punched in the eye. Maybe I should use the brush that goes with this palette. Oh no. So whenever I do my lipstick, I like do a little, you know, you line your lipstick, your cupid's bow, you outline it, but this is like, I don't, this is not like a matte, this is not like a matte lipstick that stays put. So that means that you can't just smush your, smush your lips together. Where's that brush? ironic is like this is what it's actually like to do your makeup it's not smooth it's not like at least for me it's not I like to make mistakes I have to like think it through the desk my bureau end up ends up looking like a war zone all right so Let's use the Lorac brush that came with this palette. So it came in this cute little slot. And let's use um, Timekeeper and this one, Dream It. And I'm gonna use those like middle inner corner of the eye. That is one thing I did kind of notice about this palette is it's very cool toned, which is not normal. Like normal, you have very warm toned shadows and then you have like maybe a few that are cool toned, but not a ton. That packs a punch. I love that this comes with a bookmark, like an actual book. Ugh, I just can't. All right, my hair is escaping my weird little clips. Oh, uh, mascara time. Mascara! Okay, so I am done, I think. What do we think? All right, so this is the end of Eyeshadow October for 
Sunday the 11th. Um, it's finished at 9.16. I started, I don't remember when I started actually, but anyway, thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you tomorrow. Bye.